exalted, O Lord thy God. Glory to the King of kings. O glory, glory, glory to the King of kings. Glory, glory, glory to the King of kings. Lord, we lift up your name. over this service, Lord, from beginning to end, Lord. Captivate every heart and life this evening and those watching, Lord. Lord, we ask you right now, Lord, that those that need a healing touch, Lord, that you would touch them, Lord. 
Those that desire to be filled, Lord, you would fill them, Lord. Those that desire to know you more and more, Lord, that you would reveal yourself to them, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Good to see everyone this evening, Lord. Had a lot of troubles and trials.
libre, en mi sol 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 libre, he set me free. He set me free, 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 that's why the joy is in this joy is in this place, for the joy is in this place, I could sing unending songs of how you saved my soul. of all you've done, of how you changed my life and wiped away my past. I want to shout it out from every rooftop sing, for now I know that God is for me, not against me. I could sing unending songs of how you saved my soul. He said 
set me free. He set me free. I've been set free. He set you free. He set you free. He set you free. set free he set you free he set you free he set you free you've been set free that's why my heart is bursting Lord to tell of all that you have done of how you changed my life and wiped away my past that's why I want to shout it out from every rooftop and sing for now I know that my God is for me not against me one more time that's why my heart is bursting Lord you tell of all that you have done of how you changed my life and wiped away my past that's why I want to shout it out from every rooftop and sing for now I know that God is for me not against me cause he set me free set me free he set me free I've been set free he set me free he set me free he set me free I've been set free set me free set me free he set me free I've been set free that's why the joy is in this place well, the joy is in this place for the joy is in and I could sing unending songs of how you saved my soul. Well, I could dance a thousand miles because of your great love. If I could sing unending songs. Tell of all you've done, of how you changed my life and wiped away my past. I want to shout it out from every rooftop saying, For now I know that God is for me, not against me. Cantare a sin para por lo que existe en mí. Danzare a siempre Dios por tu gran amor. Sin parar por lo que existe en mí, el me hizo libre, 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 el me hizo libre. He set me free. 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 He set me free.
Hallelujah. Are you Glory free to tonight? Jesus. Amen. Are Glory you free tonight? Amen. If you're not free by the end of the night, you're going to be free. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. On behalf of Anchor to the Cross, we just want to welcome you guys. How many first-time visitors do we have here this evening? Praise God. There's quite a few. Thank you guys for coming out to join us. I'm out of breath because I was back there rejoicing and dancing. That's the dancing section back there, in case you can't see, for those of you in the front. Yes, amen. There's plenty of room for dancing. Um, I just want to take a moment to welcome you guys again and remind you guys that we're not done yet tonight is not the last service we're coming back tomorrow at 10 a.m. and then again at 6 p.m. and we're going to rejoice and I believe sister Sharon's going to be ministering tomorrow right she's going to throw down <laughs> the sister can preach I can I'm telling you she can preach so you don't want to miss out please come back and join us again tomorrow 10 and 6 and um, if you're from nearby or if you're from the valley or local around here, there's some calendars on the way out. Grab a calendar so you can come and join us. Follow us on Facebook or look at our website because we're going to be announcing more visitors as the year goes by and as the years go by so you can stay in tune with what's going on here at Anchor to the Cross. Amen? And um, I think that's it, right? That's it. Let's keep on. We're going to keep on worshiping and then we're going to um, hear Brother Bob minister to us again this night. Thank you. Hallelujah, thank you Jesus.
eres tú, grandes tus milagros soy, no hay nadie como tú. ¿Quién es como tú, Señor? No hay nadie como tú, grande eres tú, grandes tus milagros soy, no hay nadie como tú. He is great, and He is worthy of our praise. Hallelujah. Wonderful Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. How many were here last night? And I know the brothers from Redlands, brothers back. And it's good to see you, brother. From You're from uh, Victorville. Visalia, yeah, that's right. I thought Amen. I remembered you. All the way from Visalia. Wow. I don't even want to show up because I have a headache. And uh, I live down the street. Well, praise the Lord. Good to see you again, brother. And then, of course, uh, all of you that have uh, vi been visiting. I know your sister's here tonight. Amen. It's good to see her. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Tonight Hallelujah. is a night for you. Yeah. Amen. God is... I always tell people to watch out because God is up to something. Yeah. Amen. And so he's, he's going to uh, minister to us. Amen. Thank you, worship team. Amen. Amen. He's going to... Amen. Hallelujah. We also have uh, Brother Bill and his wife back from Escondido. It's good to see you, brothers. I uh, thank God that you came back. Amen. And uh, of course, uh, Felix's family's here. Brothers, what was that? Oh, oh South Dakota. Wow. Now, where's that at? Way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. Well, praise the Lord. I'm glad you made it safe. And uh, you're here. This is your home, amen. As long as you're going to be here. Uh, I always say to people, if you come early, bring a pillow, amen. Yeah, there's, there's a rooms back there. You can take naps or whatever. Praise the Lord. Tonight, all the way from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, we have Brother uh, 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 Bob and Sharon Corn now. No, it's okay. But he made, okay, I made a boo-boo now, but he made a boo-boo last. I'm going to tell on you, brother. <laughs> I, I've learned the hard way. If I, if I don't introduce my wife when I get home, I'm in trouble. Okay. <laughs> and uh, it reminds me of a story, uh, uh, kind of like a joke that I heard one time. And um, the, the wife asked the husband to take the dog for a, a walk. Daily routine. He hates the dog. The dog doesn't obey. And so he had in his mind, this time, I'm going to take me a gun. And if the dog don't listen on the third time, I'm just going to, bam, take him out. And he did so. He got back home and the wife says, well, where's the dog? And he says, I, the dog wouldn't listen. I told him not to uh, uh, do this and behave and what, so on and so forth. And, and on the third time, he says, what, do you, what did you do to him? On the third time, I just shot him. But what did you do that? That was my dog. And, I said, and he said, that's a one. <laughs> and so, <laughs> Brother Bob, you already have one. <laughs> Amen. I, I, and then, of course, tomorrow morning, 
Sister Sharon's going to be ministering and uh, uh, in the morning and at 6 p.m. And so, like uh, Brother, uh, 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 what is it, Gabriel said, he said, she's going to throw down. And I'm telling you, get ready, there's going to be some fireworks, amen. And so, with no further delay, help me welcome Brother Bob, amen. I just played it. Well, the Lord is so good tonight, amen. Come on, I said the Lord is so good tonight. Hallelujah. And His mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. My God, His mercy endures forever. My Lord. Hallelujah. It's so good to see you tonight. And uh, yes, I, I, do, I do admit I, I, I failed last night. And I didn't think about it until afterwards. And I thought, you know what? I didn't introduce Sharon. I didn't have her come up and say anything. And, and uh, I just got so captivated. I was ready to preach and I just forgot to do it. And, uh, but I'm going to do it right now, okay? <laughs> Honey, why don't you come up and say a few words? My Lord. <laughs> wow. How do you follow that? <laughs> My goodness, I'm so grateful for the Lord Jesus Christ being in the house tonight. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. My Lord, El Espíritu Santo está aquí. Hallelujah. El Espíritu Santo está aquí. El Espíritu Santo está aquí. Hallelujah. 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 He's not just in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. He's in Indio, California. Hallelujah. My Lord. Hallelujah. He's in South Dakota. He's in Victorville. He's in wherever you're from tonight. Hallelujah. My goodness. But I'm glad you're here. <laughs> I try not to get so excited when they give me the mic. <laughs> I try. <laughs> but they're telling me to just go ahead, so I may just go ahead. Hallelujah. We're here to give Him glory. Hallelujah. We're here to give Him glory. Whatever you need, in whatever capacity you need Him to touch you tonight, His presence is here to minister to you. If you need Him to heal you in your body, the healer's in the house. Hallelujah. The healer's in the house. If you need Him to touch your mind, if you need Him to touch your emotions, the healer's in the house. Hallelujah. 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 There's too many believers walking around with a wounded heart. With a broken heart. You don't have to leave out the same way you came in. He'll touch you before we say the final amen tonight. Hallelujah. We love you all. I'm going to hush now. God bless you. I got something to say, brother. Sister Sharon, that's a one for you too. <laughs> Sydney, will you stand up and just wave? Let everybody know. Oh, praise the Lord. Ah. Well, we're so glad to be in the house of the Lord. And uh, just so glad to be with you, as I mentioned last night. And we love, we just absolutely love you all. And all of you, uh, Pastor Charlie, Sister Marge, all of you here at Anchor to the Cross, the praise and worship team. Didn't they do a great job tonight? Pa Pastor Donnie, Sister Candy, all of you, we just are, we love you so much. We're just so thankful for you that God has raised up this church in this area to lift up Jesus Christ to what he did for us at Calvary. Hallelujah. Because the Bible tells us in Revelation 12 and verse 11, it says, And they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. And our testimony is, look what the blood has done in our life. Hallelujah. And I ask you tonight, what's the blood done in your life? He saved us. He's cleansed us. He's healed us. He's filled us with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. He's delivered us from every bondage. Oh my God, that's what the blood has done. That's what the blood has done. Hallelujah. By His stripes we are healed. Oh, bless the Lord. By His stripes we're healed. My Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. And we're just so blessed. Praise the Lord. Mm. You know, we're just blessed to be saved tonight. Amen. We're blessed to be in the house of God. But you know, when we leave this house, we're still saved by the blood. 
Amen. My Lord, we're just happy to be saved. Praise the Lord. Mm. So thankful tonight that there's healing in the blood of Jesus. And you know, I, we, the, I know that uh, we have moved on in the service somewhat, but I feel in my spirit. And I'm just going to take the liberty right now. I just feel like we need to pray for the sick before I minister. If you could come back, Brother Donnie, and at least some of the crew to play some music. And tonight, if you need a healing touch in your body, I'm going to ask you to come right now. If you need a healing touch in your mind, maybe there's a wound in your spirit, and you need healing in your spirit tonight. Jesus is the healer of the brokenhearted. He's the healer of broken bodies. Spirit, soul, and body. He's the healer. Look at that. Almost the whole house tonight needs a healing touch. But he says to us that by his stripes we are healed. Yes. Hallelujah. Do you believe that right now? By his stripes. Say that right now. By your stripes, Jesus, I am healed. I'm healed by your stripes. Koroba yi kera basho koroba. Oroba yi na basi kera si.
Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. And I receive him. Yes, Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. And I believe in. And I lift my hands to the heavens. I lift my eyes to where my head.
with my eyes to where my help comes from I look to you my rock my healer I trust in you I lift my hands to the heavens I lift my my help comes from I look to you my rock my healer I trust in you sickness can't stay any longer healers in the house amen Hallelujah. Thank you, come on praise it for a moment the healer is in the house Hallelujah. his name is Jesus there's healing in the name of Jesus there's power in the name of Jesus there's deliverance in the name of Jesus oh hallelujah thank you Lord thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord Jesus hallelujah Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Koroba yera ba shikera ba o. Yera ba yera ba shikera ba koroba yera ba ki. Ikara ba shoroba yera ba ki. Raba yikera ba shokoroba yera ba shikera ba o roba yi. Yera ba yera ba shokoroba yera ba yi. Yera ba yera ba shokoroba yera ba ki. Come on, let him just fill you right now with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave the utterance. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, give us a fresh baptism tonight. Give us a fresh baptism tonight, Lord. Oh, give us a fresh baptism. Give us a baptism of joy, a baptism of power, a baptism of love, a baptism of victory. Hallelujah. Oh, roba yera ba shi kera ba o roba i kera ba shi kera ba o o roba i kera ba ko roba i. Oh, in the name of Jesus. If you just open your mouth right now, if you've ever been filled, if you just open your mouth right now, and you can stop speaking in tongues right now, hallelujah. Just open your mouth and let the Lord speak through. Just speak that sound you hear in your spirit. That's the Holy Spirit. Let it out. Hallelujah. 
Oh, Jesus. Jesus. In the name of 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 Jesus. Harabashi Kerabao. Yerraba Yeraba Yeraba Shoko Roba Yeraba Shikerabako. Yerraba Yeraba Yeraba Shoko Roba Yeraba Ki. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Harabashi Yeraba Yeraba Shikerabako. Oh Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, 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 thank you Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Tonight, if you need the baptism with the Holy Spirit, things are going a little differently tonight. But Lord, have your way. Tonight, if you need, if you need the baptism with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in other tongues, if you've never received that, but you want to, right now, I'm going to ask you to come. If there's any of you tonight, if you need the baptism with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in the tongues, and you have heard us speaking in tongues tonight, and you've never received that, you've never received the baptism, the Lord wants to fill you tonight. He will fill you right now. Hallelujah. Things are a little different tonight, but if you need that, I'm going to ask you to come right now. Just come on. Is there anybody here tonight? Say, Brother Bob, I need to be filled. With the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Well, you know what? You're not coming right now. But you know what? You're going to come a little bit later. Praise the Lord. Because I'm going to preach to you a little bit. Thank you, singers, musicians. Praise the Lord. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise tonight. I want to get right into the Word of God tonight. I feel... Well, the Lord is, the passage that the Lord has laid upon my heart goes right along with what the Lord has already been doing tonight. And if you have your Bibles, please turn it with me, if you would please, to Isaiah chapter 44. <clears throat> the book of Isaiah, the great prophet Isaiah chapter 44. And tonight we're going to be reading verses 1 through 3. And I don't know how long I'm going to be ministering tonight. It might not be for just a few minutes. But you know, I feel in the Lord, in my spirit, like the Lord. What He's doing, He's already done it tonight, but I believe He wants to do it some more. And I say in chapter 44, and verse 1, if you're there, say amen. amen. And the Lord was speaking to Israel, but tonight I want you to take this personally. I want you to take, when we read this verse, these verses, I want you to take it personally tonight as if God was alone with you in a room all by yourself and He was speaking to you these words. And it says here, it says this, Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel whom I have chosen. Thus saith the Lord that has made thee and formed thee from the womb which will help you. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou Jeshurun, whom I have chosen, for I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry ground. And I will pour out my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring. Hallelujah. You might ask him, what, what has God been doing already tonight? Well, he's been pouring out his spirit upon him who is thirsty and upon the dry ground. 
And I want to minister a few minutes on that tonight. I will pour water on him who is thirsty. And I know there are some thirsty people here tonight. Are you thirsty tonight? Hallelujah. Come on, just raise your hand if you're thirsty. Lift it up unto the Lord. Lord, I'm thirsty. Lord, I'm thirsty for you. Hallelujah. Father, tonight, right now, we ask the Lord, you would continue to pour out your Holy Spirit. And I'm asking the Lord, if there's anyone here tonight that needs to be filled with the Holy Spirit, I'm asking that God, you would fill them. I'm asking the Lord, you would fill us to overflowing. I'm asking that God, you would fill and pour your water on dry ground tonight. Pour it out on dry ground. Let there be a flood in this place tonight, Lord, we pray. Oh, we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You know, the Lord laid this verse upon my heart. I believe it was Thursday morning. I woke up Thursday morning in Baton Rouge, and the Lord put this scripture upon my heart. That I will pour water on him who is thirsty. And I will pour out my, and, and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour out my spirit upon thy seed and thy, my blessing upon your offspring. But I had that flowing through me since Thursday morning. I will pour out my spirit upon him who is thirsty. Floods upon the dry ground. And I pour out my spirit upon your seed and my blessing upon your offspring. Mm. Oh, I feel that tonight. Hallelujah. And in praying about it and writing this, to get, putting this together this afternoon, something I felt the Lord just echo in my spirit was this. When he said in verse 1, when he said, and, and I should say, when he said in verse 3, when he said, for I will... Pour water upon him who is thirsty. God said, I will do it. Mm. I will do it. I will pour out my spirit upon him who is thirsty. I will send the rain of the Holy Spirit. I will bless your children, your offspring. I will do it. Hallelujah. And when God says, I will, God means I will. Hallelujah. And some of you need to hear that tonight. God is telling you right now, in your need, in your situation, God's telling you tonight, I will do what you have need of. Amen. Hallelujah. Not a maybe. God's not saying I might do it if you're good enough. You and I don't deserve anything. Hello. You and I don't deserve squat tonight. We deserve zero. In reality, we deserve hell. But God has given us everything tonight. Hallelujah. We deserve nothing. But God's given us everything. And if you need God to do something tonight, you can't be good enough to do it. And so you might as well just realize, Lord, I, ca I can't deserve it. I don't deserve it. God, give it to me. Hallelujah. And God is saying to you tonight, I will. I will. <laughs> the devil's a liar. I said the devil's a liar. God says, I will. The question is, will we believe the word of the Lord tonight? That's the question. Whatever you have need of, God's saying, I will do it. And when God says, I will, it's a guaranteed promise. It is going to happen. Hallelujah. I will. I will. Mm. I will. <laughs> God gave that promise. And I'm claiming it tonight. I'm preaching to myself tonight. He said, I will, and I'm banking on it. I'm putting all of my eggs in his basket. Hallelujah. I'm putting in everything in all, all on God. When he said, I will, I'm going to trust him. Hallelujah. God said, I will tonight. <laughs> oh, you need to hear that. He said, I will. Whatever you have need of, if you need healing, he said, I will. If you need deliverance, he said, I will. If you need a miracle in your family, he said, I will. 
If you need a miracle in your own heart and your own mind, if you need a miracle in your finances, God said, I will. If you need a miracle in the ministry, God said, I will. Hallelujah. If you need a miracle in your father and your mother, your brother, your sister, or a relative, God said, I will. Hallelujah. If you need a miracle at the workplace, God said, I will. I will. I will. Hallelujah. Oh, God said, I will. <laughs> oh, I will. Not I may be. Not maybe it might. No, no, no. God says, I will. I will. Hallelujah. Oh, I love it when God says, I will. You realize in the first day of the church in Acts chapter 2, God said, I will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some were mocking and making fun of them. The 120 as they were filled with the Holy Spirit that day. And some were saying, these are drunk with wine. But Peter stood up filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and said, these are not drunk as you suppose. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. That in the last days I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh. I will, I will, I will, I will. Hallelujah. Oh, the church began with an I will. And the church will end with an I will. Because Jesus said, I will come again. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Help me preach tonight. Hallelujah. I will. God's telling you, I will. I will. Hallelujah. I will. What do you need tonight? I will. I hope you wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning tonight or 2 or 3 or 4 in the morning. This morning as you wake up, I just feel, I just hope you wake up when that, those words, those two words just flowing through you. I will. I will. <laughs> I will. Oh, I will. Do you need a breakthrough? God said, I will. Hmm. Don't ever believe the lie of the enemy that says God won't. Because he's a liar. Well, Brother Bob, you don't understand the obstacles that stand the way. There's never been one obstacle that's too big for our God. Hello? There's never been one mountain that's too big for the Lord that God just can't move it just with one breath. God, 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 God just can't move that mountain. When God says, I will, that means every mountain shall be moved. It means every obstacle shall be moved out of the way. It means it's not one enemy. It, does, it means it's not even one person that can stand in the way. It means that it means that not even your own flesh can stop it. If you'll trust Him. <laughs> God says to you, I will. And when God says, I will, it means it's going to happen. You know, Satan will do everything he can for us to get our focus on the dry ground spiritually. He said in verse 3, I'll pour my water on him that is thirsty. And he said, floods upon the, the dry ground. And the devil will do everything he can to get our eyes upon the dry ground spiritually. Hello, somebody. Look at that dry ground, the devil will say. That's dry ground. There's nothing that can ever happen out of that dry ground spiritually. And there's no fruit. There's no growth in that dry ground. It's just dry ground. There's nothing there. It can, nothing can ever happen. It's just dry ground that the devil will do everything he can for our eyes to be fixed upon the dry ground. To get your eyes looking down. Because if you're focused on the dry ground, your focus, your faith, your eyes are looking down. But I encourage you tonight, get your eyes off the dry ground. And get your eyes looking up. Hallelujah. Because there's rain coming. I said there, I see some clouds. Hallelujah. Oh, I see the I see a cloud the size of a man's hand, Elijah's servant said. Come on, somebody. Elijah's servant said, I see a cloud coming. And tonight I see a cloud coming. Get your eyes off the dry ground. Get your eyes off yourself. Hallelujah, the rain's coming. The devil will do everything he can to get our eyes fixed on the dry ground. And the dry ground tonight is us. 
Because from us, there's nothing good that's there. From us, there is no fruit that's there. There is no growth in and of ourselves. All we are is dry ground. But are you dry ground that's thirsty? <laughs> dry ground that ain't thirsty, nothing good can come out of it. But when you got dry ground that's thirsty for the rain, that's thirsty for the water of the Holy Spirit, that's thirsty for the power of God, He said, I will pour water upon him who is thirsty. Hallelujah. Upon him who is thirsty. He said, I blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. God said, I pour my water. That's the Holy Spirit. I pour my spirit upon him who is thirsty. But notice what he said in verse 3. He said, and floods upon the dry ground. Not a little sprinkle. But he said, floods upon the dry ground. <laughs> Glory out of you all. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory a Dios. Hallelujah. <laughs> he said floods upon the dry ground. You know, floods means that it's water upon water upon water upon water upon water upon my spirit. Spirit upon spirit upon spirit upon spirit. Blessing, rain of the Holy Spirit upon rain of the Holy Spirit. It's not a little sprinkle. You don't get a flood with a little sprinkle. You get a flood when there's a lot of rain. And God said, I'll give you a lot of rain. I'll give you a lot of the Holy Spirit. I'll give you rain upon rain upon blessing upon blessing. Hallelujah. To give you a flood. A flood of my blessing. A flood of the power of my Holy Spirit. A flood of restoration. Some of you tonight, we don't, you don't need a little sprinkle of restoration. You need a flood of restoration. Hello, somebody. You don't need a little sprinkle of victory. You need a flood of victory. Hallelujah. You don't need a little sprinkle of blessing. You need a flood of His blessing. You don't need a little sprinkle of the power of the Holy Spirit. You need a flood of the power of the Holy Spirit. And God said, I'll give you a flood. I'll give you a flood upon your dry ground. And a flood is not water up to the ankles. From Ezekiel 47. A flood is not even water up to the knees. A flood is not even water up to the loins, a waste. But a flood is waters to swim in. Waters that you can't even cross. It's a river you can't cross. And that's what God will give you tonight. Hallelujah. Oh my God, that's what I want. That's what I want tonight. Hallelujah. I need a flood. Anybody need a flood tonight? I want the Holy Spirit, I want God to give a flood upon the dry, my dry ground. I want God to give a flood upon the dry ground of my family. Upon my children, upon my wife, upon my household. I want God to give a flood upon my dad that's not even, he's not even saved. But I want God to give a flood of conviction upon him. Not a little sprinkle, but a flood of conviction. Do you got any family members that need a flood of conviction? The Lord's been dealing with them and they like the black like, like Saul before he was Paul. He was kicking against the conviction of the Holy Spirit. But God, in Acts chapter 9, when he was on his way to Damascus, God gave him a flood. Hallelujah. Flood of conviction that he couldn't resist anymore. May God give your family members a flood of conviction that they can't resist Jesus anymore. Mm. May there be a flood in this whole area of Indio and Palm Springs and all the other, all the areas around here. Let there be a flood of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus, let there be a flood. But notice what he said in verse 3. He said, I will send floods upon your dry ground. And he said, that I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring. You know what that means? It means that God will pour out his spirit upon your children. <laughs> upon the little ones. Upon your children, and upon your children's children, and upon your children's children's children. Hallelujah. I will pour out of my spirit. Hallelujah. If the Lord tarries, and I hope He doesn't, but the Lord tarries, I'm already claiming my grandchildren. My grandchildren, are, they, not, they're not, they don't even exist yet. But I'm already claiming that they're going to get saved and filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. Because God said, I pour my water upon thy seed and my blessing upon your offspring. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. The Lord tarries. I'm claiming my great great grandchildren that they're going to get saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. And then my great 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 grandchildren. He could, why? It's because God said, I pour my blessing upon thy seed. Mm. That's how big God is. I said, that's how big and how good God is. He said, I'll pour my spirit, I'll pour my water. My blessing upon thy seed and my blessing upon your offspring. Because God will bless you and He'll bless your whole family. <laughs> Do you believe that? Do you receive that tonight? <laughs> I don't want to be just blessed myself, I want my whole family to be blessed. <laughs> I want the circle of blessing to get even bigger. Hallelujah. I want to see people to the workplace that they get blessed and saved. And then their family gets saved. Hallelujah. My God. In Acts chapter 16, when Paul and Silas were in prison, and the Bible says they began to praise the Lord at midnight. You ever read that before? They begin to praise the Lord at midnight and the Bible says there was a shaking in the prison. Because things happen when you praise God. It shakes the devil's kingdom when you express your faith in praise and worship to the Lord. And the Bible says that that prison began to shake and the doors were open wide. But there was a guard there that realized that, that his life was over. Because prisoners were leaving. But when he came to Paul and Silas, they didn't leave. And they realized that they were men of God. They realized that they, that they preached about this Jesus of Nazareth who died upon the cross. That he, was the, that he was the Messiah. And that he died for our sins and he rose again. And that jailer said to the apostle Paul and Silas, What must I do to be saved? The Apostle Paul said to him, Believe in Jesus, and you'll be saved, and your whole household. <laughs> I'm telling you tonight, claim your brothers in the Lord. Claim your brother. Claim your sisters in the, in the natural. Claim your aunt and uncle. Claim your grandfather, your grandmother. Claim your dad and mom. Claim your sister. Claim them all in the name of Jesus. Claim them all. He said, you and your whole household shall be saved. Mm. He said, I'll pour my floods. I'll give you my blessing upon you and your offspring. Mm. To experience Jesus. To experience the power of the Holy Spirit. He said, I will. I will. I tell you, and I will, the I will of God will put a smile upon your face. The I will of God will put joy in your heart. 
Because the devil's been telling you, no, it ain't going to happen. But the devil's a liar tonight. God said, I will. God will fit. God says, I will to fill this whole place with people that are worshiping the Lord. He says, I will. <laughs> Hallelujah. Whatever you're wondering about tonight, whatever you're questioning, whatever that, that mountain is, that obstacle that's in your way tonight, God says, I will. Do you believe Him? Yes, will you believe Him tonight? If you will believe Him, then He will move every mountain. And God says to you, I will pour water upon Him who is thirsty. And floods upon your dry ground. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I will. You know, someone at some point in the past was praying for you hello someone in the past at some point was praying for you and the only reason why you're here tonight is because someone in the past heard the I will of God for you and they believed for you and you're here tonight because God said, I will for you. And you're here tonight and you tonight, you may have some other things that stand the way. The same God that said, I will to save you is the same God that says, I will to deliver you. And he did it through the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And I just want to read these words to you tonight. And I'm going to ask for the Donnie and the crew to come back. He said in verse 1, he said, Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant. Why would God, why would God give us such a blessing? Why would God give us such a promise? Why would God say, I will to you and I? It's because he said this. He said, because you're my servant. You're my servant. He said, whom I have chosen. God tonight has chosen you. Hello? He has chosen you. It's like God has drawn a circle around you and said, you are mine. You've been chosen tonight. Not by me, not by pastor, not by anybody else. You've been chosen by God. And God says, you're my servant. Well, I don't feel like a servant. He didn't say, I chose you because you feel like it. He said, I chose you. You're mine. And God takes care of his own. I, you need to hear that tonight. God said to you, you are chosen. You are mine. I've chosen you. And he said in verse 2, Thus saith the Lord that made you and formed you from the womb. God made you tonight. He chose you. You are his servant. God formed you in the womb. That's how much of God's you are. Even when you didn't even know God, God said to you, I formed you in the womb. God told Jeremiah, before you were even in your mother's womb, I knew you, and I formed you, and I set you apart to be a prophet unto the nations. I sanctified you. I set you apart. Tonight, you're God's. You're chosen. Why, was God, why would God make us such a promise? It's because God said, you're mine. And tonight, it doesn't matter how you feel. It doesn't matter how dry the ground may be. God said, I will. Stand to your feet if you would, please. He said, I will tonight. I will. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, for a breakthrough. I pray, God, for a breakthrough in the Spirit. 
those who have been hindered, Lord, those who have believed the lies of the enemy. I pray tonight that those lies would be broken right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. And Lord, I pray that faith would arise in the hearts of your people right now. Yes. Let faith arise in the name of Jesus for your people to believe that you will. That you will do everything that's needed right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let it be in the name of Jesus. Tonight, if you need the Lord... If you need the Lord, first of all, I want to say this. If you need the Lord to fill you with the Holy Spirit, you've never been filled before. I'm just going to ask you to raise your hand. Is there anybody here? You say, Brother Bob, I need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. I've never been filled. I've never spoken in tongues before. Because that is the initial sign of the baptism with the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. You say, Brother Bob, I've never experienced that. I need to. But I need to tonight. You know, the Lord filled me when I was 16 years old. I had been asking the Lord to fill me for several months. And He, and he filled me when I was 16 years old. It doesn't matter how long that you've been waiting. Just two weeks ago, we were in Queen City, Texas. And a young man came and he had been asking God to fill him. It probably was for about eight years because I've known him for about eight years. For eight years, he had been asking God to fill him. But last Saturday night, two Saturday nights ago in Queen City, Texas, he got filled with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 We were ministering several years ago in a little tiny city in, 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 in Louisiana. A lady came forward. She had been asking God to fill her for 10 years. And that morning, she was the only one that came down. But that morning, she got filled with the Holy Spirit. Why am I saying that to you? It doesn't matter how long you've been asking. It doesn't matter how long you've been asking. He'll fill you tonight. If you raise your hand and you say, Brother Bob, I need to be baptized with the Holy Spirit. I'm going to ask you to come. I just want you to come and just line up right here in the front. If that's you tonight. Come on, brother. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And you say, Brother Bob, I just, I've just i been filled before, but I need to be refilled. Hallelujah. I just need a fresh touch. I need that fire to be rekindled. Yeah. Hallelujah. I, wanna, I, I need that fire. I need that oil. I need, a fresh, I need fresh oil. If that's you tonight, I want you to come. In the name of Jesus. And brothers, those of you that come, the baptism with the Holy Spirit is a gift. Just like you got saved. And you might have heard this explained to you a thousand times, I'm not sure. But it's a gift. Just like you got saved, we received it by faith. It's not me giving it to you. Jesus is the baptizer. And in just a moment, I'm going to ask you to raise your hand. Raise your hands. And we're going to pray for you in the name of Jesus. And you're going to feel us. You're going to, as we lay hands on you, God's going to touch you. And you'll hear a sound in your spirit. That's the Holy Spirit. And you just speak that sound the Holy Spirit puts in your heart. Just like in Acts chapter 2 and verse 4, the Bible says, And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. And they began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave the utterance. You see the baptism with the Spirit? Tongues is the initial sign of the baptism. But the baptism with the Spirit is all about power. Because in Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, Jesus said, And you shall receive power when the Holy yeah, Spirit comes right. upon you. That's right. He didn't say you shall receive tongues. But tongues is the initial sign. But it's like buying a pair of shoes. When you buy a pair of shoes, the tongues come with it. Hallelujah. And God will fill you with the power of the Holy Spirit. And that tongues is just a blessing. It's a prayer language. You can, wor you can worship the Lord in tongues. Hallelujah. Amen. We can worship the Lord in tongues. We can pray in tongues. Hallelujah. It's a blessing. Sometimes you won't even know. Sometimes we don't even know what the will of God is. But when you, know, when you don't know what the will of God is, you can just pray in tongues. And that's the Holy Spirit praying through you. Yes. And you know you're praying according to the will of God. Hallelujah. Those of you that came forward, once you raised your hand, raise your hands and worship. And I'm going to ask some folks if you can come around these right now, some brothers in the Lord, in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we ask that, Lord, 
Father, we ask that you would fill these brethren right now with the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, be filled. this all. Why don't we just come around this altar tonight and seek the face of God. Hallelujah. Come on. And let's just fill this altar and seek the face of God. Let Him pour that water on you. Let Him pour that rain of the Holy Spirit on you. Whatever you have need of, God says I will. Hallelujah. God says I will. Let Him fill you to overflowing. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. 
of the Lord is here tonight <laughs> the presence of the Lord is here tonight the Bible says that he inhabits the praises of his people yes, the Bible tells us in Saint Chronicles chapter 20 that the enemies Moab and Ammon and Edom they came against Judah and Jehoshaphat a righteous king he said, he called a prayer meeting together, him and all of Judah. The Bible says all of Judah came together to seek the face of the Lord. And Jehoshaphat said, Lord, we have no power against this great multitude. Neither do, neither do we know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. And right in the midst of that prayer meeting, the Spirit of God came upon a young man by the name of Jehaziel, the Bible says. And he spoke up in the midst Hallelujah. of that prayer meeting. And he said, Be not afraid by the reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but the Lord's. Jesus. And tonight the battle is not yours, the battle is God's. And God says, I have already defeated the enemy tonight. Hallelujah. I've already defeated the enemy. I've already won the battle. It's already yours. You walk in that victory tonight. Hallelujah. Because God said, I will. And Jehoshaphat, the next morning, he had his army set up. And he said, you know what we're going to do? We're going to send the praisers out first. The Bible says they Hallelujah. had the praises went out first, the priests, you, and they Jesus. began to worship the Lord and to say, Praise ye the Lord, for right. His mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. And as they were praising, 
God was fighting. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And the Lord defeated that enemy as they praised the Lord. Hallelujah. I just feel tonight like the Lord, as you've been worshiping tonight, as we've been praising, as we've been crying out to the Lord, as God has been filling us, God's been fighting some battles. Hallelujah. And the battle is won tonight. I said the battle is won. The battle, the battle is not won in the flesh. The battle is won in the spirit. That's right. That's right. And there's been some battles won in the spirit tonight. I believe that. God said, I will. He said, I will. Father, right now, tonight, we thank you for what you've done. We thank you, Lord, for the victories won tonight. We thank you, Lord, that you've won every victory by your precious blood. You've defeated every battle, Lord, every enemy that stands against us, Lord. And God, you've said to us tonight, I will. Hallelujah. And you have. And we believe you, Lord. We thank you for what you've done. And we praise you, Lord. And we say it all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen praise the Lord give the Lord some praise thank you Hallelujah. brother Bob uh, busy schedule to come and take time to uh, be in fellowship with us how many enjoyed it amen? amen I don't know about you but I came in hurting and a little under the weather but I'm feeling fine now amen oh. hallelujah thank you Jesus but you know, um, we need to show the brother the love now, okay? Now it's our turn, okay? Now I don't have to beg or ask anything. We already know what's in our heart, the right thing to do. I want to pick up a love offering. Uh, if you don't give enough, only half of them are going to be able to go back to Baton Rouge. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to ask... Who wants to go first? <laughs> it's expensive. And you need to give what the Lord has spoken to your heart to give. Okay? Just give. Give out of what you don't have. And the Lord will bless you. Now, he, don't give because you want to be uh, receive much back. That's not the reason. You give because of what he already has done amen you give because of who God is and what he's done for us he sent his son to shed his precious blood that alone is enough just salvation it can end there it's enough but he has blessed us continually you've heard the wonderful message and so I'm gonna ask that you give 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 as much as you can. Amen. And God will bless you. Yes, he will. I, I, I live by that. That's the, my walk of faith in the Lord. And it's better to give than to receive. And, and believe me, every time they come, they don't ask me for nothing. But it's only the right thing to do. Amen. You were blessed. I was blessed. We were blessed. Amen. And believe me when I say this, the home church knows. I will not take not one cent from any of these events. Okay? The church will not keep anything that is raised. You understand that? It's not for anchored to the cross. We want to love the brother and tell him how much we appreciate him. And if you don't give, he might not want to come back next time. <laughs> so you need, to, you need to give. So let us stand and pray. And we're going to believe big. Last night was not too good. So we're going, to believe, we're going to believe good. We're going to believe big. Amen. Most precious Heavenly Father, I ask, Lord, that you help us, Lord, to trust you, Lord, and believe, Lord, that if we give, Lord, we will bless our brother and his family, Lord, that they can go back rejoicing and knowing that here in Indio, California, a small church anchored to the cross ministries loves them and we give because we love you Lord Jesus and we love what they have done Lord and coming out to bless us Lord their effort Lord and we thank you for the everything that you're gonna uh, put out tonight Lord for every dollar every thing Lord that will be received right now before 
hand, Lord, we already thank you for it. I know that every cent will be met. And we love you for it. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. Now, I, I, want, uh, I forgot to tell Brother Bob, and, uh, but uh, in, in the uh, Internet right now as we uh, were having church, we have some uh, soldiers in Afghanistan. There's 30 of them watching. God bless you, brothers. Amen. And uh, I'm sure, brother, that they received right where they are. Isn't that Amen. awesome how we can travel around the world without going anywhere? And brothers, we love you. Thank you for your service. Amen. And I just want to tell you, Brother Walker and, and uh, Chris, that there are, Brother Larry and Chris Walker, they're there. They're working, a private company over there working with them, and they've been ministering to them. As a matter of fact, one of them stole the Expositor Study Bible from, uh, but uh, he went ahead and made it right. As he wanted to return it back, he told him, he says, you don't have to give it back. We want to give it to you. So who knows? We might start sending some more over there. Amen. Amen. But we love you, brothers. Thank you for uh, staying up. Amen. Over there, I believe it's uh, Sunday morning. Uh, uh, I don't know, 11 in the morning or something like that. But praise God that they stayed up to watch us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, will you come? And deposit your love offerings for the brothers. Amen. We also have CDs, live recordings available right now if you want them. And don't forget, before you leave out that door, we have some uh, books, Bibles, uh, CDs, DVDs that the brothers are selling. So don't leave without taking some. Amen. Come quickly in Jesus' name. Amen. Sister Sharon Court are going to be back there so you can greet them on your way out. Amen. Love on them. Give them a little sugar. And uh, God bless you. Tomorrow, 10 a.m., Sister Sharon Cornell will be ministering. And again at 6 p.m., invite a friend. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I did it. I did it. <laughs> I did it, I did it.
get it. Oh, Lord. <laughs> And I, I, I was thinking the whole time, I said, oh, I'm going to mess it up. Uh.